Hello, Penny Pinchers. My name is Dayhan, and welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. I hope you guys had a great weekend, but now it's time to start studying for next week. So we're going to be looking at three penny stocks picked by analysts. Two are going to be on this uh, article right here, and then we're going to have another article after that. So let's dive on in and check them on out, guys. So the first penny stock on our list is going to be Dare Bioscience, ticker symbol D-A-R-E. So this one, a clinical stage biopharma company with a focus on women's health. The company is working to develop a commercialized series of therapeutics to improve the treatment options available for uh, to women in the areas of contraceptive, fertility, and sexual and vaginal health. Now, DARE has a large and active pipeline program with nine drug candidates, various stages of the development process. The leading drug candidate, DARE-BV1 or clindamycin, is an antibiotic gel ointment for the treatment of bacterial vaginosis, the most common form of vaginal infection. In December, the company announced a positive top-line results for a phase three trial with patients taking DARE-BV1 showing upwards of 70% clinical cure rate by the end of the study. Their second leading candidate, Ovaprene, is a self-administered hormone-free monthly female contraceptive. Uh, Ovaprene is currently in its pivotal trial and is expected to show top-line data in 2022. Now, other drugs in the company's pipeline are under study as hormone replacement therapy and for the treatment of vulvar and vaginal atrophy. Now, thanks to its promising pipeline, several members of the street are pounding the table on this name, which trades at around $1.80 per share. The company's research program has caught the eyes of five-star analyst Zegbeg Jella from Roth Capital, who has uh, made the stock one of its firm's top picks right now. So right here is going to be a quote by him, Jala noted, with a multiple catalysts expected in 2021 and with our overall positive outlook on women's health category, there is another of our top SMICRO cap picks for 2021. This micro cap company is in the strong position to also see a doubling or more of its stock over the next 6 to 12 months. Now, the analyst added, DARE announced that phase three top line data for DARE-BV1 met its primary endpoint. The reported cure rate was also superior to the most commonly used treatment for BV, now 70% versus 64%. These results increased the probability of success for DARE-BV1's approval by uh, 2021, as well as the potential for a highly lucrative commercial partnership. Now, to end this, Jala rates uh, DARE shares a buy, and his $9 price target implies an eye-popping upside of potential of 400% by the end of this year. That is huge, 400% gain, guys. So what do the rest of the streets think? It turns out that they uh, you know, wholeheartedly agree with Jala with uh, three buy ratings and no hold or sells. The message is clear. There is a strong buy. So the $7.17 average price target puts the upside potential at 298% by the three analyst picks right here. So we have Elmer Piros, we have Douglas Tsao, and then Salah Yankuk. So all three of them have a buy rating, price target $9, price target $5, and then a price target of $3.50, upside of 400%, 177%, and then 316%. So average is going to be $7.17. So strong buy, the low, obviously, like we said, $5 right there, all the way to about $9. So there's a huge potential for this stock to continue to go up in the next few months. So definitely one to keep your eye out on, guys, especially if uh, you're into these type of stocks right now uh, that have huge potential with penny stocks. And, you know, they have buy ratings by these analysts so these analysts are saying that they're buy rating now it's up to the trader to go ahead and do some research and see if this stock fits your you know criteria and if you think it's a buy or not now as always guys if you made it this far into the video go ahead and show some support to the channel i know you guys are always supporting me so go ahead and smash that like button let's aim for 100 plus likes in the first 24 hours i challenge you guys i think you guys can do it so smash that like button it takes one second subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification so you get notified for more content like this if you guys want to sign up for we won't start trading penny stocks there's gonna be a link in the description get your two free stocks when you sign up today and their value is going to be up to eighteen hundred dollars all right, the second penny stock on our list is going to be Aptos Biosciences, ticker symbol APTO. So Aptos Biosciences is a clinical stage biopharma company with its particular focus being unmet clinical needs in the treatment of chronic lymphothetic leukemia, CLL. Uh, so right here, it's going to be, you know, a bunch of different things. NHL, we have the AML and the MDS. Those are going to be their, you know, pretty much their targets. So in short, Aptos is working to improve the eff efficacy of treatment for hematologic uh, melangiases. So the company's leading candidates CG-806 and APTO-253 are both in the early stage, you know, phase trials. So CG-806 is a subject to two separate trials and studies for the treatment of B-cell tumors and myeloid tumors. The phase 1A-B study is expected to show early results by mid-21 
you know, so mid uh, 2021 APTO-253, which is in a phase 1B trial for the treatment of AML and MDS is expected to show early results by mid 2021 as well. Now in December of last year, early data on the CG-806 trial for the treatment of CLL and NHL, the B cell tumor study was less conclusive than had been hoped. While several patients showed a reduction in tumor size, there were no objective uh, responses. So in addition to two of the three patients reporting adverse effects and stopped the treatment early, although there is no reason at the present time to suspect the uh, adverse effects were caused by the CG-806, the result was less clinical evidence than uh, had hope, you know, been hoped for this as the early stage. The likely prolongation of its early trial period, so it might take a little bit longer. The five-star analyst Somit Roy of Jones Trading looks at Aptosi's uh, CG-806 study as a major net positive for the company and believes the current low price is actually a buying opportunity. So, you know, that's actually a great thing right there to see. Aptos is uh, the cusp of identifying the, the go-forward doses in RRCLL and RRAML. CLL is a uh, trial is a currently going through the dose escalation phase and multiple biological readouts like PK-PD, dose-dependent uh, lipocytosis and biochemical detection of inhibition of uh, BTK-FLT3 signaling indicates uh, 600, 750, and 900 MGBID dosing while the RP2D, we believe, uh, you know, by 2021 update will be a keep the driver for APTO as the re registration path becomes clearer. That's what Roy noted right there. So turning to the drug's potential, Roy adds with the potential market launching in 2024, 30% peak market uh, penetration in five years and 45% probability of success. We estimate WW adjusted peak sales of uh, approximately 620 MN in 2030. And then uh, Roy backs up his uh, optimistic comments with a buy rating on the stock and a $14 price target that suggests an impressive one-year upside of 255%, which is huge. Now, even though this stock saw a collapse in uh, December, Wall Street is still taking an upbeat view. This can be seen by the five uh, recent buy reviews, making a unanimous strong buy analysis consensus uh, rating. Aptos shares are trading at $4.04 .04 right now, and their $11.20 average price target implies an upside of 193% in the next 12 months. So right there. The low target is going to be $8 right there, as you can see. The medium average is going to be $11.20, and the high is $14. We have three different uh, you know, analysts right there. $14 price target, $12 price target, and a $9 price target. So we have three different ones. The average is going to be around $11.20, and it gives this one a strong buy on this stock. And last but not least, the third penny stock on the list right here is going to be VBI vaccine stock could blast higher by 170%. That's what the analysts are saying. So obviously, with you know a lot of companies are trying to get into that coronavirus, so they're using that as a springboard. And since the pandemic onset, may, many have become almost you know household names. Despite making a meaningful market strides over the past year, VBIV is not one that immediately springs to mind. Now, however, Raymond uh, James analyst Stephen Seedhouse claims that the company could yet make a sign here in the fight with uh, against the Rona. V VBI's uh, Rona vaccine right here candidate is expected to enter the phase one two trial this month, and following preclinical data which showed the vaccine compared well against the Novavax uh, Rona vaccine. Seedhouse believes it may end up being the most efficacious of any of them. So given the dose uh, plan for the human use and the evidently uh, tenfold the dose tested in mice, we expected the strong preclinical data to translate to humans. This is what the analyst said. Now, moreover, VBI has replicated the strong mouse findings in two other animal models, including hamsters. We aren't sure, you know, the street really appreciates yet. One, the tail on the Rona vaccine market, and two, just how strong VBI's vaccine may end up being. Now, furthermore, on the Rona front, sometime in 2021, VBI's pan ronavirus vaccine, COV2 SARS MERS, will also, you know, enter the clinical trial. So, uh, however, apart from the Rona, there are other upcoming value drivers as well. November 30th, PDUFA date has been set for VBI's uh, other vaccine that they have, the HBV vaccine. Now, Seedhouse says that an anticipated mid-year manufacturing plan expects to could be a key hurdle. Although the plan met the required standards before, SCI-B-VAC was given the commercial go-ahead in Israel, while FDA requirements are more stringent. The plan has since been given a makeover to meet the FDA standard and has uh, since then passed the mock audit. Now, additional tailwinds could be provided from the final date of the phase 1 GBM vaccine trial, which is anticipated in 1H21, so the first quarter of 2021, and the kickoff this quarter of a phase 2B-3 trial in the Southeast Asia, China, with partner Bri Bio studying VBI's HBV vaccine, VBI-2601, together with RNAi Therapeutics, BRII-835, 
Based on all of those above, seat house rates VBIV a strong buy along with a $9 price target. The figure implies a whopping 170% upside potential from current levels. Now, only one analyst has uh, recently posted a VBI review. But if we take a look, the extra buyer results in a modern buy consensus rating backed by an $8 price target. And then the stock is expected to reach around 183% of muscle over the next 12 months. So if we take a look right here, average buy is going to be around $8 area. So low is $7, high is $9. These are going to be the three analysts we have right here, uh, $9, $7, and $8, so about between 110 and 170% price target. So we have two buy ratings right there um, you know, in the past three months. So that's something to take a look at. You know, $8 price target is huge on a company like this, just like the previous two we talked about in this video. All three of these have some you know, huge buy ratings, huge price targets for the rest of 2021, which is good, which is positive for us investors. They have so many different drugs coming out in the next few months and you know, different clinical trials that we have to keep an eye out on. If they're positive, they could definitely you know improve the way we live and that's something that investors like to see they like to see you know look into the future how are we going to get rid of the coronavirus and that's what most of these are you know linked to um so that's that's definitely big for investors and you know we obviously have to do our own research and make sure that these fit our criteria and do some more deeper you know diving into the company to see how the company has you know been doing in the past few years how is their revenue are they making any revenue you know what is the market cap of the companies um, are they even worth investing are they safe or not so you know guys before investing in any penny stocks obviously i'm not a financial advisor this is just for educational purposes just an article shown by these uh you know this company that these analysts are saying that are buy ratings so it's up to the investor to do their own research before investing like we always say so speak to your financial advisor before investing into any stocks and as always smash that like button for me subscribe to the channel for more content like this leave a penny stocks or any of these on your radar right now and what penny stocks are you buying right now i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope to see you guys in the next one goodbye